Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for your ongoing support. So this pick a card reading has been suggested by so many of you. It's a really popular one over on my TikTok channel. So if you're over on TikTok, head on over there and follow me as I upload these kind of videos every single day. As you can see, we have four groups of cards we are looking at. Who has a crush on you? So there are four groups of cards here. We have group one, which is the dream stone. We have group two, which is the rose crystal quartz wand. We have group three, which is Buddha. And we have group four, the rose quartz crystal ball. Please remember these readings are general and for the collective, so take what resonates for your situation and leave the rest. Remember this is just a bit of fun, so you know, your crushes can change from day to day. Um, but right now, who has a crush on you? Let's find out. Hi group one, so you chose the dream stone. So let's find out who has a crush on you. How exciting, let's find out. Okay, so you have the Nine of Swords. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. With the High Priestess, this could be Pisces. I feel this is someone that you are, you kind of know that they, they've got a crush on you. And I think that you know that they're too scared to approach you. So this isn't a secret, I don't think. And if it is a secret, it won't be a secret for long because you have the Queen of Swords, another air energy here. This is someone from your past or someone that you've known for some time. This someone could be someone who maybe was a childhood sweetheart. And I feel like they've recently got back in contact with you, back in communication with you. King of Wands, yeah. And there's, there's a sense of that they've matured, they've grown up. And you've known this person for a long, long time. Because I do feel this is someone from your past coming in with a crush on you. The High Priestess is just making me feel like you've got this kind of knowing this feeling that you know that this person from your past is going to contact you. It's like you've got this niggle in your gut that's telling you, yes, you know, my person is going to contact me. And when they're ready to come forward to you with an offer, they're going to be coming in with that King of Wands energy. They're going to come after you. They're going to pursue you. They are going to really be keen to let you know how they feel. How exciting. Initials we could be looking at for your person could be J, P, N, a U, a T, an L, a H, a Q, a B, or an M. Lots of, lots of information there, I think, to uh, give you some clues. So group one, hope this helps, hope it resonates. Let me know in the comments box below. Hi, group two, so you chose the Rose Crystal Quartz Wand. Okay, so let's find out who has a crush on you. Okay, so you have the Two of Pentacles. This is someone weighing up their options, somebody really thinking long and hard about whether or not they can find the confidence, find the courage to ask you out, to tell you how they feel. Could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, you have the Four of Cups here. I'm feeling that this person may have asked you out in the past and you have rejected their offer. And they really, really like you. Could be a Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But with a Page of Cups here, yeah, I do feel like they're going to definitely reveal themselves pretty soon. And they're thinking long and hard about it. But with the Eight of Swords here, it could be an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do feel that they, they're... They're scared of the rejection side of it. So because they're scared, it's holding them back. But there is a love offer coming, you know, towards you with your crush. All right. And you have the Ace of Coins, another Earth sign there. So there's a definite new beginning, a new offer of love coming towards you from your crush, which I think is really nice, really exciting. Let's find out what letters represent their initials. Okay. So we have an X, an A, a J an L, an M, a Z, another Z, and a Y. Okay, so group two, there's a definite love offer coming towards you from your crush. And they are thinking long and hard about how they want to approach you because they're scared to approach you because I feel that they've asked you out before and you've rejected them. But this time, I feel you will say yes to them. How exciting, group two. Hope it resonates. Let me know in the comments box below if it does. Hi, group three. So you chose Buddha. Okay, so let's find out who has a crush on you. How exciting. 
Okay, so you have the Nine of Swords, could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, with a Five of Pentacles, Earth sign there, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a Wand sign, Page of Wands here, Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and a Water sign, okay. Maybe I'm feeling you've got more than one crush here. I feel that you've got quite a lot of interest in you. Ah, yes, okay. Now, I feel with the Page of Wands, you're, so, you're glowing all of a sudden. I feel like somewhere you've got this kind of um, intense sense of confidence and loads of people are attracted to you. You haven't just got one crush, my lovelies. You have got lots and lots of people interested in you. King of Wands, people want you right now. There are so many people crushing on you. Wow, this can be a little bit confusing and I feel that this has come after a time of you having to do some self-healing. A lot of work on yourself to kind of move away from feeling like you're not good enough for people, not good enough to have a relationship. I feel like you've been waiting long, a long time for people to notice you. And finally, not only one person is noticing you, group three, you've got loads of people interested in you. Um, yeah, and I think the worry for you is who are you going to choose? Because I feel like you're going to get a lot of offers coming at once, okay? Potentially three offers. Wow, you are so popular right now. Initials that could represent, letters that could represent their initials could be a Q, an A, an X, an M, a Z, a U, a Q, a G, or an O. I'm just going to get a few more because I feel like you have got more than one crush. So an O, a B, an N, an I, or a J. Yeah, so I feel there's a lot of people interested in you right now. And I feel that this, as I said, is going to come to you after feeling like you've had a really dry spell of no one being interested in you, no one even noticing you, or feeling like no one is noticing you. And I feel that because you've kind of accepted or you've kind of told yourself, let's just accept I'm going to be single forever, I'm going to not, no one's interested in me, you feel like no one... Uh, is, is noticing you but all of a sudden wow all of these offers are coming into you this is a really exciting energy for you group three you've got a lot of crushes i really hope this helps i hope it resonates if it does let me know in the comments box below how exciting hi group four so you chose the rose quartz crystal ball all right so let's find out who has a crush on you Okay, so you have the Knight of Wands. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone I feel who is a bit of a player, okay? So just be careful with this person. I feel that this person who has a crush on you is crushing on quite a lot of people, but for some reason, you've caught their eye and they really like you. Wow, yeah. Bit of conflict around this, bit of competition. As I said, I feel that there is an energy with this person who has a crush on you that they fancy quite a lot of people right now the seven of wands as well okay a lot of fire energy this is definitely someone who is a fire sign okay i feel that this person is very popular i feel they got a lot of competition and i feel that when they when they approach you to let you know how they feel you know you will know who it is because this person i feel is very popular but they see something in you there's something different there's something unique about you they find you very um maternal they find you very attractive they find you very sexy but they find you very elegant at the same time i feel that your crush is looking at you as someone that they could kind of stop all of this um um playing the field nonsense and i feel that they they see you as someone they could definitely settle down with yeah you've got the base of the deck here six of pentacles i feel that your crush wow is really seeing you as someone who can change their bad behaviour of being a player. I feel that you bring a lot of balance and I feel that, you know, when they approach you and you reciprocate this crush back to them, the feelings that they've got for you, you'll see some really positive results from this person. It'll be balanced, it'll be mutual, it'll be reciprocated. I think this is a really, really strong um, connection that you're going to have. A lot of fire, a lot of passion. A lot of attraction there. Very, very strong attraction between the two of you. But as I said, your person, your crush, the person who fancies you has got a crush on you. They, you're, you're stopping them in their tracks, okay? And they're going to start saying no to all of the other competition. But yeah, there is competition there. I do feel that 
maybe you're the person who's got a lot of interest, a lot of competition, and they feel that, you know, they want to, they kind of want to get your attention, grab your attention and have you to themselves. Either way, with the six of pentacles there, I feel it's going to come into balance. It's going to be reciprocated. It's going to be on equal terms. It feels really good. It feels like it's a bit, ooh, a bit chaotic to start with, but then it settles and becomes, you know, a nice balanced reciprocated energy, really mutual reciprocated energy strongly coming through for you. Initials that could represent their name could be a, a U, an L, an O, an I, an S, a Q, an I, or another U. Okay, so group four, I really hope this helps. Hope it resonates. If it does, let me know in the comments box below.